Hi everyone, it's Kelvin Hoare here, the cinephile. So great to be back. I'm really happy and really glad uh, to do this right now because it is the first footage, the first teaser trailer from the Snyder Cuts. So I'm very excited and I want to do it right away and then I'll have my reaction afterwards, okay? Alright, so I have my earphones right here. The bell's already been rung, and they've heard it. Oh, it looks so good. Out in the dark, among the stars, <laughs> they went out the, the god is dead. Okay, so that's what I imagined. It's 30 seconds long, I think less than 30 seconds of actual footage, so that is a teaser, uh, the definition of a teaser. Uh, no Superman yet, I'm a big Superman fan, but uh, yes, it looks good, it looks great, uh, it looks cinematic, it looks very, uh, I don't know, it just looks very clean and cinematic and well shot. And I hope we get more of that. So that was already, I think, with uh, Diana Gal Gadot. That's a new scene. Uh, Zack Snyder has released photos of that before in black and white. Because for some reason, I think you have to, like legally, you have to release photos in black and white and someone can't sue you. Uh, but you can't release in color. Um, I think that was a stylistic choice by Snyder. But um, yes. It looks good. I think it's a nice tease. Uh, I think it calls back to Batman v Superman with uh, Eisenberg's uh, voiceover there. So there's a tie-in and it all makes sense. So I think in the end, you know, when this is all finished, this trilogy is finally complete, Zack Snyder's trilogy, I think people will have a greater appreciation of it. And uh, Man of Steel just celebrated its seventh year, uh, seven, seven year anniversary, pardon me. Uh, three days ago, four days ago, uh, and there's, I mean, there's quite a bit of love for that film, and I think that has aged like fine wine, really, it's, you know, it's not that the film has gotten better, but people have appreciated it more, and I think to a lesser extent that will happen with Batman v Superman, and once uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League comes out, the Snyder Cut, then we'll have this trilogy that makes sense, and that's follows through and has a good um, conclusion. So from what I saw it looks good, it's very short, the music sounds great, uh, very epic. Um, Gal Gadot looks great, uh, it's well shot, um, her acting seems good, I like the voiceover and then that little shot of, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, well it's dark side, but it's U Uxis when he was young, like when he's like only a few hundred years old, <laughs> because I think he's thousands of years old. Um, but yes, it looks good. That's, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please and thank you. Subscribe. Uh, that would be great. Um, I think it looks really good and epic and dark. And yeah, I can't wait to see more. I think there, there will be a probably one minute or 90 second trailer at uh, DC Fandom. Uh, which is happening in August, uh, August 22nd, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So we'll get another tease there, and uh, then the film will come out. I think, I don't know, maybe early 2021, I hope, because he has all this footage, so he just has to edit and do special effects. I know that takes time, but um, not, you know, two years' time, so or even a year. So uh, hopefully it comes out in early 2021. Uh, and then we can watch it and see what format it'll be. I've heard um, uh, it's either going to be a four hour film or six episodes. I probably, I think it's going to be six episodes. That just makes sense for HBO Max to uh, 
get more subscribers and to make more money. <laughs> so, yep. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It was so short, so my review is pretty short, but uh, I look forward to doing more of these. Thank you guys. Bye for now.